All right, welcome back to the channel. I am here joined by Robbie Stargill. Is that how you say your last name? Or is it Stargill. Close. Stargill, Stargill, okay. Joined by Robbie Stargill. I've known this man for literally over a decade, uh, pretty much like so many of the YCSs that I attended back in my competitive days. Robbie was at them as well. Uh, so we've, we've known each other for a very long time and we recently saw each other for the first time in several years in North Carolina for nationals. Um, but yeah, Robbie, why don't you introduce yourself? And I know you have your own like YouTube channel and stuff. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, like I Fraser said, we've known each other forever. Always just been like, hey, how's it going? Like, you know, but I mean, I've played like current Yu-Gi-Oh forever until like 2020 hit. And then I already had Edison like decks built just for fun before. But then like as the format exploded off, I really dove deep into it. Yeah. And Fraser can attest, I'm the guy who built all the paper decks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at nats i had all of the decks on me at the time and it was like a duffel bag of seven one k's of just decks and yeah, yeah that's um, wild uh, so i i have all the decks too i don't have them physically all built what i have is a binder that has three copies of like every relevant edison card you can think of there's just like a binder for it and then i typically just like i'll, I'll have three decks built at a time because i usually have a deck for myself one to lend out to a friend and then like i'm always between decks i'm always like okay I'm, I'm a black wing and a frog player so i'll have those decks built and then i'll just have fairies built for a friend or i'll have hero beat built for a friend or something um but i never have like more than that but the fact that you have all of them built including side and extra is crazy the extra luckily is like communal there's like a box of like six to eight copies of each card so yeah. it's all right but um yeah, and then just like, like like you have that binder. I have a binder of just all sideboard cards, even like really weird ones that aren't on your cool videos that everyone should be watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, lo I love doing that little uh, series. So for people listening, this is between the spell and trap one because I haven't released a trap one yet. I haven't even recorded it yet, to be honest, but uh, I did the uh, monster tier list for side deck cards and the spell one. Um, and so I still have to record the trap one, but there are so many real traps to side and that video is going to be a lot longer than i think the other two so when i get back from rbet moreno valley next week i'll be dropping the trap one i was going to drop it beforehand but i was like there's just really no time i have so much shit to do and i haven't even packed yet and it's like right now as we're <laughs> recording this it's 8 p.m on thursday uh, august 17th so this is like before moreno valley this is before my flight which is in the morning. Um, so I have no idea how that event's going to go for me. So to future Frazier, I hope that you won. But if not, then, uh, you know, I hope that you at least topped. <laughs> and if neither God. of those things happen, then I hope the God that you enjoyed the, uh, the tournament or in California, you know, you enjoyed whatever <laughs> the fuck is going on out there. But anyways. So yeah, I love Edison format. Um, I am, we were talking about this a little bit before we started recording, but I am a, a little burnt out following Nationals just because the week leading up to it or the weeks leading up to Nationals, there were a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, a lot of Edison tournaments to play in. And then Nationals was like, you know, the big payoff. I uh, got really far in that, as everyone knows. And then after, I just haven't been motivated to play in tournaments. Like, those tournaments are still happening every weekend, it feels like. And because I decided that I'm going to go to this RBET in California, I was like, you know what? Between then and nationals i'm just not really gonna play like i need a break so i've just been kind of on a break and i've only been doing like every once in a while me and stango will record some content but it's been it's not even been like a frog content or anything like that it's just been like random decks that we never really played like we just did a dragon one um what's another deck that we tried out i don't know we just been trying out random shit that we never oh six samurai we did fucking six samurai like come on and <laughs> anti-meta and i never would i never would do those decks but do you have six samurais built actually yeah actually i uh had a friend come over yesterday and we recorded some videos for my channel which for everyone listening it's uh mech vamp six um don't ask yeah. but uh yeah actually we were looking at keegan's build and the build i had and i wanted to like fuse the two together and that it's actually on the the editing block so um that should be cool especially with ultimate offering like i think that card's insane in that deck like yeah, I guess that Ooh, makes that card, sense. That's scary. Yeah, you know what? When I was playing with it with Stango, um, one of the problems that we had was it's kind of hard to establish monsters and just stick a six samurai is like the biggest problem. But that's easily fixed by ultimate offering. So yeah. Um, so uh I'll probably like redo another video off of that. Actually, the deck I just profiled to is a degenerate one that I'm glad that is like 
not even the one percent of the decks played, and it was a uh, empty jar. Oh no, but that deck's stupid. <laughs> yeah, empty jar is. So I I didn't know how much of it was actually accessible in the format, um, but I do not want to ever play against something like that because it's really not up to you. Yeah, what happens? Uh, I'll turn my camera on, by the way, so you can actually watch me. I'm doing. I'm just starting to do. Okay, good. Yep, yep. So I have no idea what we're getting into here. Uh, I haven't played Black Wings in a in a little bit. Let's we'll see. How, oh, all monsters. That's. <laughs> I think I run like twelve traps, but you know, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a. Damn, six of them. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's statistically like looking at that like mathematically is like so low. Yeah. What should I? I wonder. Okay. Do I want to summon Shore or do I want to summon Bayou? Like, they're both pretty innocent to summon turn one. Yeah. I kind of want to do Shora, but I feel like I could get more value out of Shora by holding it. And yeah. he's probably going to be baited into... I'm going to summon Bayou. Yeah. And, and attack. I mean, we have the two Sirocos to translate the cards into, like, the other cards later, so... Yeah. It's just... Yeah, let's that see if... I mean, my opponent... If you don't see me set a single back row, you know that I have to have some amount of Kaloots. They, they have to know that. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, oh god is right. What is this? I mean Oh my god. It's <laughs> fucking insane. Did you like pile shuffle your deck and just like leave all the monsters together? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Uh should I um I'm putting this in defense. I'll I'll do it. Well if I get mirror forced here, do I really care? Probably not. No, I, don't. I don't think so. Hmm, that's a because then I can summon Sirocco if like this doesn't die. Uh, I'll just put it in defense. Fuck it. I don't know. I mean, all I can really do is summon an attack. Those are like my only. What the fuck is oh. this? Oh, it's the Keegan deck or not Keegan, the Carpath deck. When this card you control destroys into the grave, you add one reptilian monster. Should I just I should probably collude this, right? Like, I don't. Yeah, you don't want that to be a uh, offering of the snake deity uh, set and just like Icarus you back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Like, I don't I actually don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I got a value on the field. Um. Yeah. I mean, I have double Sirocco in my hand. This is so annoying. Is either gonna get the one star? Yeah. Okay. Get another copy of itself. God, that's <laughs> annoying. Its butt is so big too. Yeah. It's fine now, though, because now I'm going to make a synchro. I'm doing stuff. I want to gain God, some Imagine life. if we had the five-star Blackwing back in the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty insane. Uh, But, yeah, I... When did you, okay, when did you get into Edison format? Like, when did you start playing? Oh, yeah, so I really started, like... Probably started 2021. Um just like everybody else when like i grabbed my old decks and it was like cool and then just like started playing with my friends and teaching them about it um mm -hmm. yeah i mean for those who like aren't that don't know me also like i'm an educator so like teaching people it's just like big big uh thing i love to do and just teaching people like old Yu-Gi-Oh that didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh back then it's just super cool yeah Ooh, so he might send Dandy here, yep, and then he's probably got a Vasky, which is like the boss monster of the deck. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. Uh, yep, so he's just attacking me for a lot, that's fine. That thing can destroy a face-up card, uh, on his turn, which is pretty decent, but yeah, she's just big. Okay, so this mind control is dead as shit. Uh, let's see, this card cannot be, this card cannot be special summon, except, so I can't go your guardian this thing. Well, it can destroy face-up monsters, and it can only be one of this on the field. So, I have multiple ways I can deal with it. Um, I can still actually go your Guardian if I want to. I can also Soroko attack over it, and then if Soroko dies, I do have access to Arm Wing. I kind of like that. I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna do this. Battle phase attack to grave. And this way, I'm still holding my control Blizzard. So I'm yeah, at 34. Bronic with the follow value in the next turn. Yeah, that would be actually not okay at all. 
I have a graveyard waiting to explode. It's probably gonna be another two K wall guy. I would draw that now. <laughs> I mean, it's still another monster. That that's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's actually so wild. We've seen one spell, um, and nothing else but monsters. So, hmm, I could just go for a game. I think make Brio yeah. pitch pitch this shit. It's never going to be used. <laughs> actually, now that I have double value, I, the dark arm is actually probably live. So if I, I just give so. it, if I just give it in this back row, I think I think they're dead. I mean, it could be another one of those Icarus attack things. It's gotta be face up for it, unfortunately. So like, oh, they can't. Attack, yeah, they actually can't do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm I'm not trying to duel anymore. <laughs> sure. I'm just gonna. Okay. Summon the unfair. Uh, two grave. Target this. Let me see. Limit reverse. Okay. I bring back your dandy, and then you get two tokens. Hmm. Okay, so let me do, let me see. So this will take out two. So I have one, two, three. Give me one over. Yeah. If I. Yeah, I can't really see a way to. Uh... Wow, they actually went for this. They're fucking nuts. Is there a hand trap that they could play? No. I'm. I am lost. No. They just play like maybe the eighteen or nineteen hundred guy. Three copies of that card because of the water. And then like three copies of that card on like the one star tuner, which I don't remember what the one star tuner does. I just can't believe we're getting this far. Um so this is forty-three. Uh let's see. Yeah, no, no matter what, I still can't get there. Okay, so if I Hmm. All right, Dark Arm's just actually going to be dead this whole game, so I might as well bounce his monster and then just go all in. Say you ain't got shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they play Fader. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if they play Fader, then I should. I'm going to get rid of that too. Okay. I know the one star tuner is like something about not being destroyed by battle. But I think it has to mean attack mode or something stupid like that. Yeah. He better be able to win after all this though. I know that. <laughs> like, I have no cards. I drew all monsters literally, and I don't know what I don't know what their deck really does at all. That's one that I actually don't have built. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't blame you. I'm not <laughs> It's crazy. I think if I just had like any trap, like literally any of the traps in this deck, then I'm fine. Just playing raw as fuck. That's the reason why I, I stopped I kinda stopped playing Black Wings altogether because as good as the deck is, it's just like so boring a lot of the times. Yeah. It is definitely like when you want to go to a tournament and win the tournament, you play it. Yes. But you don't play it at like locals. Right. Okay. So he's gonna swing into one of your guys, he'll take the damage. And then he's gonna tribute it off for Vasky and pop a monster. Okay. Oh, it pops. It, it tributes any monster. Oh, that's, uh, that's cool. It was like sideboarded back then at the actual event. Like, I mean, by the people that you're gonna expect to see go 04, but against Dandy Warrior, which for those listening, I, I went to the event itself mm -hmm. all the way back then. It's crazy to think how many events both of us have been to. Yeah. What's your favorite Edison deck? It's hard to say. Like, I really like Girl Warrior as a card. Um, I think that card's actually just, like, super cool. But right now, I'm, like, loving the Gemini deck. Like, I don't know. It just feels feels cool. Okay, so that's the limit reverse back there. Because that's the trap I balanced a while ago that still is just still chilling there and there's more traps 
Okay, so we drew dust shoot. All right, well, I don't feel like waiting anymore. <laughs> Oh, he just drew Mirror Force. Oh. Nice. All right. Because the deck is like so outrageously not good, I'm just going to not even scoop. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of zero attack monsters. What is he going to. Oh! Okay. Well. Yep. You got it, boss. <laughs> Black grows the du the dust shoot. There's no way. <laughs> That'd I, be so funny. I know he's going to summon Black Rose. There's no way he actually explodes. It's got to be Ancient Fairy. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, okay. Um, maybe okay. That's an attack mode, right? Yeah. Heavy storm. Uh, I think, yeah, you do that now. Definitely get the Vasky away. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Can you summon multiple of these? Yeah, I think you're just dead. This turn. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm glad to know, though? So we had like three of that thing, and if anything went wrong there, it's just like GG, no re, super hard. Yeah. Do you think Duck Devy's good against this deck? I think so. Um, but you got to catch it before he sets the, the 2k guy yeah um he's gotta be on the field to uh, get his effect triggered i believe i'm not sure on like d prison because yeah he didn't really well, attack me until that thing came out yeah oh uh, let's see so trampling is definitely good this seems really good because that's a special summon when he summons that thing yeah he's got debris also in his deck so just hitting yeah, it with i don't depression. need this because the, they're not yeah hmm uh i'm gonna do a bottomless yeah, I like there. that. All right, here's for some traps. Some amount of traps. There we go. <laughs> I do traps. That hand's pretty decent. Yeah, that's a hand. <laughs> this is a real game. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do I want to commit this Bora with Icarus attack? I don't see him beating over it with anything. So I think mm. I'm safe to... And I, I, I have a lot going for myself here. So we're just going to set three... I just want to see what's going on back here. Thunder King. Okay, so there's one thing that beats over, and I have Icarus and... So, okay, so we want to send back the Thunder King, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so Bottomless, MST, Vader, Pius, Naga? What'd you call me? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I just call her Snake Girl on a rug mm -hmm. here. Now, can Naga die in battle? Uh, she can't be destroyed while in attack position. Ah. Whatever she attacks turns to zero after. And then either she like turns to defense or if she's in defense on the end phase, she switches to attack mode. Otherwise, gotcha. she's destroyed. Something stupid like that. Yeah. Okay, so they probably just set MST and they have Fader. Uh, I don't think you have to do anything. I think you're just well. Okay, no, you don't even attack because Fader Caius. But I mean, you have the Icarus as well. Yeah, I have Icarus and I have Solemn, so they actually can't do that play. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're definitely going to Fader me, and they're going to probably MST chain to the attack, then drop Fader. That way, they can't get Icarus. Yeah. And I don't care which one they pop. So yeah, this is fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we will just pass here. Because I'm just going to solemn the fucking Caius. No MST for you, my guy. We're just going to say no to drugs. So I know that they don't have... I'm not going to Icarus your MST. No, we're just soloming him. I don't think about it, but yeah, we're soloming that. So he's got bottomless one star unknown card right yeah it's about to be a lot of damage okay okay bottomless thank god for priority <laughs> yeah priority's broken uh 
Okay. And then they're not... I'm just going to do this. Yeah, Dark Armed Live. Monthly Mirror Force and then like you have two of the three. Yep. So their hand is Naga. Uh, we know Naga Bottomless. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually annoying as hell. Never mind. <laughs> right. If I summon arm wing, they will bottomless it. If you summon dark arms. They will they can either. It. Yeah, but then now then they'll just bottomless it after. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's a tight spot. Thunder King is actually annoying right here. Um hmm. I could just attack and collude and then like I can correct my graveyard at a later date. Because even if I collude, I go up to four, but then this puts me down. So like I probably should just collude over this thing. But then Yeah. Maybe I do want to play into the bottomless now. Or do I want to wait to draw it out the bottomless? It's tricky decisions, decisions. I think we just collude. Um, and I'll put him on bottomless one star and one, two other cards. That'll be nothing of like value, I don't think. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we, we can do that. Okay. Yeah, so it sure would be real random there. Yeah, that would be a Randy Randolph. All right, that's that fucking annoying little shit. Guess who's Maybe. getting crude? Yeah. <laughs> All right. No more tricks. <laughs> tired of you alright now that we're going second dust yeah. tornadoes might be solid as well yeah uh, he played thunder king and these were not yeah. even that good to be honest I do these he wants to be on thunder king I got you I got you dog it's crazy that thunder king's like not even that good this format no mm, you know what no I'm just gonna keep it the way it is fuck it we're just going in it's crazy game one, like, if I'm new to this deck play Battle Fader, then I forgot to play Whirlwind. Shit. <laughs> like, I completely forgot that that is a card that this deck plays. Not even being funny. Like, I genuinely forgot. Like, oh, yeah, this is a thing that this deck does. It went to one, like, after this, so, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Draw a pass. I feel like you could do the same, but, or set deeper than... I mean, what's the harm in, let's see, if I go summon Greffer Pitch and then attack, they go Fader than Kaya's, which I don't like. So yeah, maybe I do just like pass. Yeah, I don't want to play into some random shit. Because my hand actually randomly can't handle a Kaya's right now. Only because I would be pitching my Sirocco for Greffer's effects. So I wouldn't have a Black Wing to Normal Summon with the Whirlwind. Yeah. Which is like super obnoxious. Okay. The shoot. What would I take here? Probably the Greffer. I don't know. Dark Arm is scary too, though. Yeah. But he knows you're but not yeah, coming Greffer, into the board. Yeah, Greffer is definitely like a huge threat here. Because if he doesn't take Greffer, I'm going Whirlwind, Summon, Gale, Surge Value. Yeah. So, like, plays need to start happening. It's so scary leaving a Dark Arm in someone's hand, though. I'm, that is like. Yeah. That does not feel good. That's a scary card. It's a very... In Black Wings, it's terrifying. There's a crazy way to get it live, too. <laughs> yeah, like, Dark Arm could be live right now. So far, Dushu has been in every single game. Toxic, yeah. toxic card. It would be the second card that I would get rid of in this format. Yeah. Yep, Dark Arm. That's what I thought, because I'm like, this is, this is like, the scariest thing in the world. Okay. So I'll draw into it, DB glitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just going to pass with this. Heavy Storm. Well, we love to see that, knowing that we have... Okay, that's a good one. Okay. 
Oh god, he's in a Vasquez. Okay, it's good to see gone. <laughs> called that, it. <laughs> that is. Hilarious. I called it. <laughs> that is something. Uh, that's DB algorithm for you. That is so bad. Did I shuffle? I might not have <laughs> yeah, shuffled. Yeah, you did. You did. People think that I, I'd be joking about that glitch. That shit is so real. If I shuffle, this is so bad. That's what I called it. <laughs> I shuffled deck, yeah. <laughs> That is so bad. It happens so often, too. Okay, what is the play here? We have so much. I can't... Yeah, I know. He has, he, has, he has quite the number. Um, If I special by pitching Sirocco, that puts me at one dark... Or two darks. And then I could normal Blizzard and bring back Gale. And then Gale priority half that fucking thing. And... Let me see. Special puts me at two. If I discard for this, that puts me at three, then four. four. That would put me at four. If I normal, that puts me back at three. But if I... I'm just thinking if I could Black Rose him. I feel like that'd be kind of good right here. Just like simplify the game. And then drop like, if I can, Dark Armed. But I might be over. I think I'll be over for sure. Uh... I could alternatively just summon Dark Greffer and pitch. But that is vulnerable to a lot of things so if i special and normal i'm trying not to play too hard into the traps but yeah especially because he could have like the icarus trap or just stupid limit reverse to give him more tokens right so i'm trying to do this in like a safe way it's kind of rough um special greffer pitching sirocco activate effect send value to grave send the number of value from deck to grave then normal blizzard bring back gale but see then i'm just playing into the traps that way super hard yeah so maybe i just go like summon greffer pitch value put sirocco in grave and then just like summon dark arm priority pop her yeah i think that's the play okay all right is he asking me for priority sure i'm not doing that but okay all right okay Okay, so now it's it's heavy on the special U out. Okay. There's got to be a mirror force down there. Yeah, oh yeah, these back are getting fucking absolutely popped out of their mind. Like, we're not doing this. Because now nothing is really chainable anymore. We're getting a full three pops. Whew. Whew. Super wow. Two okay, we might as well get the third one because if it's limit reverse, he summons the tokens. I can just attack and attack. Yeah, I, I would kill. Honestly, I don't even know if I need to kill a trooper to be honest. Like, I probably would kill those tokens. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't doing me any favors in a grave anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Three for three. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's insane. The reads have been great. Okay, so I can kill. I can kill both the tokens, set D prison, and his best play from there is to like make Black Rose Dragon with a with a uh, debris. That's like his best yeah. play. And if he has that, then like congratulations. Um, you yeah, can not attack Trooper. I give him a higher chance of actually having the yeah. I'm just gonna put him on. You don't have debris dragon. Basically, that's where the game is at right now. You don't, you simply don't have it. And if he doesn't have debris, then he, if he doesn't have debris, he just loses, I think. Like, flat out. Or I guess brain control could also be a card. Okay, he has debris. Which, I'm wondering. <clears throat> That's so annoying. That's actually annoying for so many reasons, too. Because he gets tokens. And a draw card. Yes. So the fucking big bitch can come out. You get yeah. two tokens. Yeah, it always in Edison you can't even form the chain links to do it the way he just did it. Like you you can't even choose to 
order it in a way where they would get blown up. Not that he want to with his specific deck anyway. Yeah. What is going on? Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think I just have to attack. Uh, hmm. I could just set oppression. And then if he tries to summon that thing, I could just negate it. I guess if he has Caius, he would summon Caius no matter what. So, like, I'm fucked to a Caius regardless. So, I'm actually going to summon this. So, he has Caius, and it's like, it doesn't matter. And I'm curious if he drew debris last turn as, like, his draw. Oh, shit. He set so fast. That's got to be the guy with 2k. Yes, I'm just fun. definitely doing this. All right, Heavy's in a grave, right? Yeah, he played Heavy this turn, or this game. So, we're just... Uh, we're just walling up. That was a great draw. That was a really good draw, actually. Holy shit. Um, I have one reptilian monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. That card is kind of cool. Hasn't, yes. Neither of them have been reprinted. Oh, no. Not that. I, I know Vasky is like 3 to $5 range randomly for a rare. Oh, my God. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, okay. So it's obviously Battle Faders back there. Can't really play around it in any meaningful way. What does Fader do for them? I mean, it enables Caius, but I would have thought they had Caius a long time ago, which they clearly did not. Yeah. Uh, like, do you pump and get a big Gores token, or just, just do the normal, probably the normal attack order? Yeah, because I don't want them to get a fucking huge Gores guy. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. Since I play all these values, I can actually summon Blizzard Search value, Synchro, make Brionic and bounce this off the field. And then I have Brionic and Soroko on the field with Whirlwind up. And I have a value in Grave. And they have nothing on the field to like tribute with for Caius or anything like that. Uh, I like it. Because I'm vulnerable right now with this. Yeah. So I have to do that. I think it's the play. You know, like we're just accepting if he has brain control we just lose it's fine oh miserable miserable games and he wants to talk to you about it after <laughs> yeah i'm like what do we want to talk he said take a screenshot i'm like bro you can you can just watch a replay if you need to see anything that happened like you can you can know everything you want to know at every turn there's nothing that can be hidden from you at that point and we use dark arm we use gale what do i want to draw here i guess just more monsters now like, I just want to draw, yeah. like, any monster, basically, besides Value. And Gruffer. Actually, I gotta be specific, because this game will fucking spite me if I just say the wrong thing. Even, like, another Blizzard would be, like, acceptable. Yeah, I've only seen one. I've only seen one, yes. Yeah, there's more Blizzards to be drawn. Sure. Oh, this is pretty good for him. Is it a Crash, Summon Vasky, Pop Brio? Oh. Yep. Yeah. So he's basically hoping that I don't draw a monster. Yeah. Ugh. I specifically said what I didn't want to draw, and the deck was like, <laughs> I'm going to give that exact thing to you anyway. That's fucking annoying. All right, well, we have to set this. Um, We can't... Yeah, there's nothing else to do. And this only destroys face-ups from what I read, right? Yeah, one yeah. face-up. Okay, that's good. This could have even been a snowman eater. I would have been happier. Oh, yeah, those are on this deck right now. Oh, oh my god. Man, the beast. What are they going to banish, though? The face down. Okay, I'll take a thousand. I might have, I might have banished Rowan there, to be honest. Yeah. His black wings, like, what the fuck are they really going to do? Like, now... Oh, it's not, nothing's good with that, though. Uh, Kalut. Gale's gone. Oh, yeah, Kalut, yeah. I thought we used all three already. That was the first game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that is the play. Okay. So, the clear effect. Vanish. Vanish. Where were you last turn? Now I'm at a fucking hundred life points. Like...
I'm going to talk about annoyed. <laughs> All right. They're going to kill me with Thunder King. Watch. <sighs> This is the last turn of the game, no matter what. No matter what, this is the last turn. Win or lose, right here. Everything. GG's. All right, they're that crapped out on them sooner than my... Oh, he plays Quick Draw. Well, that's a mistake. And this is why you don't play Quick Draw. Okay, what did you want to add? Yeah, I redrew that because of the DB glitch. Um, We checked the log. I blatantly shuffled. But people don't want to acknowledge that Dueling Book blatantly has a Dushu glitch. And it's kind of funny because I checked the log... I thought about it, but that changed everything because I couldn't go over the dark count. I also didn't want to play into your apps if you had Icarus. So, yeah, he could have had Solemn, but I was like, there's no fucking way he's going to Solemn McGrath after he just saw my hand and my hand did not have dark arm in it. Yeah, like, there's no way. I was like, this this normal summon's gonna go through, and I'm gonna get the three darks, and I'm gonna summon dark arm, and that's that's just the end of it, and that is exactly what happened. So, uh, I love dark arm, such a crazy card. We do trap cards, actually. Yeah, we actually do traps. I only play, I think, like twelve of them. So, there's that. Uh, I guess I'll. Oh, I'm not offering a rematch, but I will just for the sake of the video. I'm going to watch this replay before this starts though. Let me show both. And also, what's he saying? Game three, I knew if you had the dad, it was game. Not really though. Like he ended up you ended up drawing out of it. Yeah. Did you top back three when I had dad <laughs> and gruffer prison? Okay. So it's all fair. Yeah. He drew he drew debris after I drew dad. So it's like, you know, you go the the gods give if the gods take it away. All right, anyways, let's see. So he starts off with offerings to the snake deity. This is their worst Icarus attack. And then this little reptile dude comes out, and I'm like, all right, what do I do here? And I just decide to clue it because I have nothing else to do, literally. Okay, we're going to get some damage in. There's an android. And they do the Icarus thing. Which is actually really good right here, the way this works out. I mean, I have the same thing if I would draw it, if I drew Icarus with my Vayu. They drop this hoe. So right here, we're still in a good spot. But then I got, I was like, I'm just going to go for game. And it, they happen to have this. And I was like, all right. And I also didn't know that this was in the deck. If I knew both of those things, like if I just knew how this deck worked, I would have been like, you know what? I'm just going to play this slow and just attack. Just gonna play this nice little slow game of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> but now I know. Just in case I play against uh this deck in the tournament this weekend, that might be. I I would not want to go in blind. No, but I also don't assume that's gonna gonna be there. I think you're definitely gonna see a lot of mirror matches with your deck and a lot of like hero beat. Black and wings by you, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely that. And then the Mirror Force 2 was like, ooh, this was rough. This was all rough. He was doing a lot. And then he had three of you. That was funny. I, I was like, oh, I'll dust you put back the girl. And it was like, there are three of them. Not even just two, because two would have been bad, too, because two is just game as well. But it's like, no, I got three. Like, you need a mind crush. And this was just a non-game turn one dust shoot. I wonder if he draws the Thunder King again. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yo so we both yo that was two glitches in a row that's insane oh God. that's so funny wait okay i gotta see is this making x based on just right is this what what is this uh, okay this is the game here we go so scent trap does shoot special summon thunder king right or yeah special summon ryo Shuffle deck twice, set MST, and, and then they drew it and just summoned it again. Drew Thunder King. Yep. That is hilarious, bro. It happened twice. This is a great showing of the dust, the dust shoot glitch. Yes. This was so problematic, too. 
But god, that monster's annoying. He's not even good against Black Wings, but because I specifically don't have a single trap and my deck refuses. Oh wait, this is a different game. Never mind. I'm slow. This is a different game. My bad, two king. King Jalu. Also, like, it's funny that this game I opened up Rowan. And I could have absolutely just non-gamed this guy if I drew any other monster besides the one specifically in my hand. But like I don't know. The, yeah. the game just decided, like, nah. Be easy. Oh wow, so they drew they drew the trooper right there. They needed to draw this trooper because this Gale sticking around was a problem. Gale sticking around is like threatening Black Rose at any point. And also, it makes if you have gores, it makes it way worse. Okay. So they do, yeah, they're going to rip the brain right here. Thank God that Kai's didn't come earlier. Great rip right here. Bora was the MVP because I ripped the Bora with Whirlwind too. Yeah. MST was... That was on. crazy. This was a clutch play though. Well, they were going to draw this. So if I didn't give it to that Battle Fader, they didn't ever do that other play. I really think getting rid of Whirlwind here might have been the correct thing against the Black Wings specifically. Because you get yeah, rid of Whirlwind, you're all this. Yeah. Aura, you're doing nothing. Yeah, I do nothing. Yeah, I think that they just kind of like honed in on Caius always banishes monsters. But I think in that specific scenario, they should have targeted the Whirlwind. I'm top decking. Yeah. I don't like I'm top decking. It's a black wing deck. What set monster could it be? Like granted, I did side in. I fully did side in Snow Eaters, but he doesn't know that. He never saw one. No. So yeah, that was a I think that was a bit of a throw um at the end. But okay, uh well I hope you guys enjoyed at least this. Uh that was that was really rough. That was surprisingly like for uh reptile deck. I mean game one was just algorithm gave me nothing. <laughs> it gave me fucking nothing. And then Game two was dust shoot non game, and then game three was like, I drew a broken ass hand, and then he dust shoot at me, and then put the dark arm back, and then I just redrew it again. So dust shoot glitch, and then I just won. So I don't, I don't really know what to make of any of that. Like all of that was bad. And then like he kind of threw at the end with the banish on the Kai's. Like I think he definitely should have just banished the whirlwind. Uh, we both got lucky, top decking exactly what we needed. It was Yu Gi Oh. That's all I got. all I can say is honestly fucking Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Um, the insane part was definitely like the number of call outs that you and I had were just yes, you were like there's basically. definitely a mirror force back there, and there fucking was, which was wild. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the recording for this one, and then we're going to record another one for uh, Robbie's channel, or however these these videos will end up on one of our channels. So one person will get one video, the other person will get the other one. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy watching us rant and duel here. And we will catch you in the next one. Make sure, so, Robbie, actually, just to make sure, uh, what's your YouTube channel? Like, how can they find you? Uh, MacVamp6, uh, M E C H V A M P, and then the number six. Okay, MacVamp6. There we go. So, MacVamp6, definitely look out for that. Guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.